So Bill Ballard has made a name for himself through his years of YouTube videos. He has shared his journey of ascension and has reached quite quite a channel. He has reached, I have no idea what I wrote. He channels his higher self through doing his inner work and raising his vibrational level. <laughs> we had a great time last night. He came and told us the history of the universe. <laughs> so, um, I, I, this is the first time I have ever this is a very rare appearance. So come on over here. So it's a very rare appearance by Bill. And uh, so really, I, we're going to do this impromptu, very casual um, interview. And um, what Bill was talking about to me is that he's always in the field. He can read the field He because he is the field. The field is all around us. We come from dark matter, from the void. And we are experiencing a hologram right now out of our eyes through our brain. So why don't you tell everybody what it means to be in the field and how you can stay, how you got to be in the field and how you can stay in the field and what you experience when you're actually, when you are everything that is. Well, the field. Yes, yes, one, two, three. <laughs> The, the field really is who we are on an eternal level, and we are energy beings, and our body has an energy body overlay, and that's what the chakra system is all about. Basically, what you're doing when you're going through your ascension process is you're moving out of the duality of the brain, the, the light, dark, heaven, hell, us, them, male, female, good, bad, me and you, and you're moving into the wholeness of your heart. You are literally coming out of duality and going into your heart as you do that. And it really starts off with the Kundalini process. And the Kundalini process opens your chakras. It, um, as your Kundalini starts rising, each one of your chakra systems start opening. And it's kind of like, um, over there where he's got the camera plugged into the wall, it's kind of like putting in the conduit or the, the, um, the copper wire in the wall so that your energy can flow through there. The activation of the chakras is the ascension. And what you do when you have gone through your kundalini experience and your kundalini has risen up to the crown chakra, opened your crown chakra, all the chakras are open, you start having these messages from above and starting relating to your higher self and you've got to move that kundalini back into your heart and then as you do in your in your heart more than 51 percent of the time the the heart chakra starts spinning at a light speed and it starts activating and you start feeling this perpetual state of bliss and as you do that there's just this great difference of realities that unfolds and to activate your heart chakra, you're literally in your heart feeling more than 51% of the time of being in your head thinking. And that's the beginning of the plugging in of your 12 strands of DNA right there. And as you, I'm not used to these microphones. I'd rather just speak like this. Can y'all hear me? No. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's, this is much better. All right, cool. I can talk really loud, too. <laughs> All right, um, literally, what is happening as you... All right, problems, problems. This is the problem with never having been on stage before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, what ends up happening is you start having different understandings and perceptions of reality you're starting to come into the fifth dimensional awareness as you shift out of your head and into your heart and that's just the beginning of the process at that point your heart chakra will start spinning at light speed you'll feel that bliss you'll have a death of your old life you've got to kind of renounce the duality that you've been in in your ego state and your ego is going to be trying to fight you it's going to be going hey man you're crazy if you're going to you know stay down there and not up here and there'll be a battle that's going on with you 
of to stay in the light or to go back into your head and back into the duality because that's not use that's not where we've been for how many lifetimes now right and as you stay in here then what happens is after a period of time you'll anchor and it will become a permanent state of being you will be constantly feeling that bliss constantly having different levels of awareness and the more you stay there the activation process continues all the other upper chakras will start activating your spiritual non-material chakras as well as your earth material chakras you are an electromagnetical being biochemical circuit and as you go through this process um different levels of awareness and magic and um just everything changes you just become a very very magical person you can just bring it on you can walk through storms you can um you can create storms you can stop hurricanes i had the gulf oil spill in front of my house as i was going through my process and literally it was just over the horizon was where Deepwater Horizon was. I'm in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, and every day I would go out and focus my light and my intent to keep that oil out away from the Gulf. And for 25 miles to the west and 25 miles to the east and 12 miles out, there was a perfect semicircle, although Deepwater Horizon was 75 miles away, where the oil never came in. And it stayed that way for three months until I left and went to Sedona, and then the oil came in. <laughs> When you have a superpower ability to um, manifest from the background energy, you're able to um, to do things like like affect uh, cities, whole electromagnetic, all those things going on in the city. Tell us a little bit more about when you're in the field. What more kinds of things, uh, powers do you have? The ability to change in your reality. Well, what you just said will change rather than it being a background. Um, electricity or background energy out there as you go through your process it'll be manifested from in here and that's the difference between a 3d linear level a 4d 45 level a 5d vertical level 6d you actually know you're creating your reality and you go spherical you're turning into a galactic being at that point so and, it, and that has to do with your chakra activation process yeah what about all these people that are trying to remove their chakras? What, have you heard about this lately? This How stupid does that sound? <laughs> if you're an energy That's being insane. and your chakras are about the energy and your, your body is about the energy, why would you remove your chakras? I think that That'd be like pulling the, the copper, out of that copper out of that wall and wondering why that camera doesn't work. I think the main thing that they were thinking about was this implant system that we are given when we are when we incarnate and they were thinking that chakras were implants because the beings who are taking energy from us are plugging into our chakra centers but instead of removing our chakras what we need to do is open our chakras and we need to learn how to protect ourselves by being in the heart, not in the head, and by making some declarations. What kind of declarations? Well, would when you activate your heart chakra, your Taurus field activates, and that's just like the pictures that Carrie was showing earlier, and <laughs> you have a force field around you that will protect you in anything and everything. And it is that which you're wanting to grow. As you, once you activate your heart chakra, then you'll activate the other three upper, the three lower, then they'll expand seven times, meaning like Nacral and a Pearl, they'll have seven layers going out, and then your Ascension Chakra will activate. That's when all of those activate and your 90 degree chakras go vertical, you're actually stepping in to your Ascension Column right at that point. That's your seventh initiation, your eighth initiation is when you go spherical. So when you talk about initiations, what would be some of the first initiations? How does someone actually raise their kundalini and activate their chakras? There's a lot of work involved. We don't have a, we don't have all day to talk about mm -hmm. it. But what are some basic things so people and how can they find out more about this? The first well, a lot of this stuff was written many many years ago, and um, Alice Bailey books talks about this. Saint Germain talks about this. A lot of your Native American truths talk about this. Many of us have done it many times before, and we are the volunteers coming back, doing it, and showing it to everybody else. 
the first initiation is just wanting to return back to God's source. And, and uh, the second initiation is really holding that thought and you've got a, a time period that you've got to really determine that this is what you want to do before it happens. The third initiation is the soul infusion of your physical form. The fourth is actually allowing spirit to guide you to get out of your head and quit thinking about things and trying to rationalize things and go where you're told listening to spirit. This is what you're supposed to do or this is where you're going. The fifth initiation is the activation of the heart chakra. The sixth is the activation of all of the original seven chakras. The seventh is the activation, seven expansions of those original seven chakras seven times and the activation of your ascension chakra and the ascension column and then you go spherical. So for someone like me though who is working on this, I haven't done these activations uh, specifically. You're doing it. <laughs> so what I wanted to share is that the things I talk about are the things that get you activated and you do have guides working with you, right? I was told as a child, only work with my higher levels of self, and, and I, I could Sorry, not guys, remove right? myself from my, Archangel Michael's been it all my life, okay. and so, yeah. So you made a deal with the dude before you came? It's not that I'm a fractal of him. Okay. <laughs> and I believe that. So, okay, so what happened on the planet in 2009 that is moving us towards success in uh, activating our DNA and uh, ascending? Part of my mission was to have and in, to get 8,000 people on the planet heart activated and begin the process so that we can end up having 144,000 by Venus transit in 2012. That was what kept this planet from blowing up just like what we had in Fall of Atlantis. So what's gonna to happen to the third dimension? Is it actually going away or are we just moving away from it? Is Earth gonna have a third dimension? She's gonna be coming forth you cannot unawaken yourself. <laughs> I mean, if you're awakened, you cannot go back to sleep. So. But Earth herself, is she, she's raising her vibration, correct? Right? Third dimension is having God on the exterior doing all this to you. Fourth dimension is us here realizing we have power and joining together to focus our intent. Fifth dimension is becoming the energetic being that you are and starting to take control of your life, understanding what quantum physics and this energy body, this light body is. Sixth dimension is being the master. Ow. How, how can someone work on staying in their heart chakra 51% of the time? Feel, don't think. What about nature? Does that have anything to Feel, do? Feel, don't think. What about? Feel, don't think. You know, you guys know me, I'm a thinker, so I'm always asking questions, but what about this and what about that? It's, it's, see, as the divine consciousness descends into matter, first there's the concept of what you wish to experience. The ascended master levels is the polarity and the magnetics that's between it before it even goes into form. Your highest state at that point as it descends is your avatar level that's your meta self then you descend down into the oversoul or archangelic self you descend down into the soul self where you have just like your soul breaks up into many different experiences some here on the planet some like you say all over the universe where you are right now all out there mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't have anything to present, so it had to be a question and answer thing. You just fire away, I shoot from the hip. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand how how you, um, I know you have to go through certain phases, but how do you know if you've had a Kundalini activation? I know my heart is wide open. Mm -hmm. um, what are, how do you know that you've had this. Okay, well I'm not quite there. <laughs> I'm almost there, but I mean, be honest with me. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm not completely in bliss. Do we have a question here? What's the one thing that just blows your mind? Initiations. It, uh, the mind is not in the brain, and you are moving the mind out of the head and into the heart when you do that. When you go spherical, blowing your mind is the next initiation. <laughs> yeah. So tell us what kind of uh, superpowers you've actually uh, been able to do, and then I know that you're working with some free energy, where can people find uh, information about, uh, you did 3D printing for a while, you wanna just give a brief 
Uh, not, Boy, not you just the, went all over the place. Not the big ones. <laughs> not the big ones. Bill's got a secret mission on the planet he can't talk about, but he, he give a little background about your um, what you did in the in your lifetime here that's going to set you up for moving into free energy or anything that you'd like to talk about. You just went everywhere. No, just pick one. <laughs> Okay, he doesn't want to answer that question. <laughs> okay. So, well, the secret mission is, is the same thing with all you guys. It's to wake up to who we really are, to embody our higher levels of self all the way back to prime creator and allow those energies to come through while you're in the physical form. You are the conduit. You are the copper in the wire. And the activations is turning the nuclear power plants on. The nuclear power plants are the activations. When you feel that bliss, you are activated. And that activation is just beginning when you start it. You think there's bliss is it? No, that bliss can come to levels that are almost intolerable. Handling so much bliss in the physical form, it really does get that, that dramatic. But Bill, I'm a beginner, so I need to know what to do. I'm a beginner here. What do I Feel, do I? don't think. Feel from here, don't think. Feel. So we need to move out of Feel. our mind. No, heart, out, of out of the brain. You're moving the mind, which is the eternal you, out of the brain. You're not locked in to the physicality of the brain. That's the lie. How hard is it for men to do that in particular? Because women... <laughs> Tantric sex was how I did it. <laughs> it's true. It's Seriously. It's Seriously. True. Yeah. Any other... But any other, I mean... Any other um, suggestions for men? I mean, we need to not be able... Well, we the, guys, to the guys, number one, we always had to be tough. And I am a trained warrior. I'm talking real trained warrior. And sword, guns, explosives, killing in every way possible. And getting out of that training and learning to become a child, childlike again. You know, learning to love like there's nothing else. That that's really I mean when you can just melt when you find that sacred spot in your heart, you just go, ha ha ha, it's like goo goo ga ga. It's like I found my mama's steady again, you know. <laughs> So, so like, well, you went through a lot of your activations on your video series um, that you have on um, Bill Ballard on YouTube. Um, when are you going to get back into those videos? Or are you just I've taught everything I can teach. Okay. I'm, I'm, so what level I am are you working, in activation? My activation is about number 17 at this point. And once you, once, you, once you get, there's 352 just within this universe. Okay. And but as far as going to, like, you're already in what field right now on Earth? What I am. Level? I'm channeling all my higher levels of self from Prime Creator through Metatron through Michael and the various other Archangelic. Because these are just frequencies, and we're all different recipes of all the different Archangels. It's just, I happen to be more than 90% of Archangel Michael. And then you descend into your soul level, and then you descend into your ego level, which is the... Per second, third dimension. Okay, and I asked a lot of questions earlier, but if you just get get back to this last one, unless you have anything else. Be specific. What powers, do you, superpowers, are you exhibiting right now that these people, when they activate channeling their the field, chakra, channeling the field, any you the, the, see, to but, any what questions? people don't understand about me is right now, if you hook me up to monitors, you would think that I am brain dead because. <laughs> Seriously, there's no thought going on up here. It is it is reverse from the intellectual rather than from here trying to decipher the ego. Of, and see, ego has different meanings in the higher levels than it does here. Persons might say because of my intensity, I'm egoic. Ego from a higher spiritual level is really the identification with the self as your mama names you and everything that you learn within this lifetime and trying to intellectualize that out. From a higher spiritual, fifth dimensional perspective, that's what ego is. Do we have any other questions in the room? I mean, I've got thousands. Yes, in the back. So that's the ego at this, the ego at this level, but you say there's different levels of ego. So when you go above the level where your mom changed, you raised you what you know, when you go to that next level of ego... No, there's not next levels of ego. There's next levels of higher self. Got it. So the ego's 
It's not necessarily gone. You've just put it in its place. Ego is a fantastic thing to keep you alive on this planet. It gives me personality. It makes me uh, able to be on radio. But the the ego, while you're here, will keep you alive. It is part of your personality. It is part of your makeup. But as you go through your initiation process and you're channeling the field, the field has no ego. It is just raw information that has different levels of consciousness and awareness and rules to the game depending on what expansion you've initiated yourself into. Thank you. We had a question over here in the back, yes, sir? Yeah, this was miraculous, your semicircle of no oil, right? Semicircle um, of what? No semicircle oil. of okay, no, no oil. oil. Um, truly miraculous, right? So why did it stop? My question is, could you have kept it that way, even though you moved physically a few hundred miles? <clears throat> is there an automatic way that you can produce a change in the physical world and keep it there? Yes, and that's what portals are all about. I work with, I'm an earth worker, I work with vortexes. What portals are, are artificial uh, vortexes. Yes, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Right, so did you choose not to do that? or I chose to, to let it be what it was going to be. Okay. I demonstrated something and told everybody I was doing it, and they went, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> 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 well, I, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Did you find that your your warrior martial arts background help you anyway on that path or to bring completely, food? completely? Um, the way that I trained, um, I'm a second generation uh, student of Taekwondo under General Choi. My instructor taught me as he came back from Vietnam to train blind, blindfolded to see without using these eyes and to feel and so yes that's the way yeah, that, that yeah, I martial arts background yeah. myself mm -hmm. Andrew Fisher well, he can go first he can go first <laughs> what can you tell us about these beings that for uh, let's say 500,000 years a million years a million years seem to be stuck in the same patterns that created the energy levels that created the grid and the lockdown of the prison planet when you, when you look at those beings from our perspective, they don't seem to be going through what we're going through. Is it that they're just not spiritual? What is it? That is you. That's, that's, that's us. us. We are them. Us it is polarity for the experience. You have to understand, you're both light and dark, good, bad, heaven, hell. And what you're doing when you go through your ascension process and you get to here is you were just merging it. You're bringing it all into center. You're not this extreme or that extreme. You're bringing it into center. But when you go into here, by by centering yourself, you generate the Taurus field. And with each initiation, you've got a greater level to that Taurus field, which the first one is your soul self, solar system, solaris, the soul. The next level goes into your, and that is also your ET or your angelic self. Your next level goes into your archangelic or oversoul self. The next level is going into your avatar, your Metatron self, Metatronic self. Um, your next level is your ascended master self. You're, you're dealing more with the magnetics and not even the body at that point. So we're dealing with all of these through us as a reflection back. Yes, correct. We are, we are all one. Yeah. Now the answer is to do it for Yes, we're, we're all in training to learn to become masters creating our own universes. That's literally what we're doing here. The more we work on ourselves, the more we're going to fix our reality outside of ourselves, okay? That's why we had the duality That's why we're here. That's okay. why we're here. I know that's why a lot of you. Andrew Fisher? Is it possible for you to uh, channel the late Judge Scalia to find out who killed him and why they killed him? I don't channel anybody with my higher levels of self. That's it. And I could care less about the political drama out there. Oh, okay. Um, okay, great. Uh, in the back with the blue shirt. Yes, sir? Speak up. I'm curious if you uh, have any speakers that you personally like to listen to or books you enjoy. That's a good question. Anybody that you, I mean, he channels, every, he gets all the answers within, but early yeah, on. Yeah, early, early on, on, we'll see, I came in 53 years ago remembering that I'm here on a mission and I'm part of a group here to change it for this time. 
I saw several different timelines that was happening at that time. And just like I was explaining to you last night, as a baby, literally weeks, months old, I could see out here what it was was reality in a dark timeline, in a more light timeline, in a semi-light timeline that we're on now, in a super light timeline. And we didn't hit that real dark one. I thought with 9-11, we were going down it, we were fucked. <laughs> <laughs> but we've changed that and what 9-11 9-11 um, was all about was so that we could wake up all of humanity and bring them all through because back before harmonic convergence when we started doing the first planetary meditations back in 1985 there was going to be two worlds that were literally splitting apart just like Dolores Cannon had said and what has happened since 2012 when we had actually had 144,000 activated human beings on this planet we created the world on top of the world and so we are able to walk on this world not going any place else we're just pulling this world in the expansion out with us as it raises its frequency it expands that's what we're doing too it's just like water turning into gaseous state it's changing a dimension bill when you said when we wake up humanity i know that you know there's a lot of us that have um family members, and there's no way anything we say can wake them up. What will it take on this planet to wake up uh, the majority of the people who are supposed to move forward? Be you. <laughs> sure. do, be you do it, show, show it, and be the do, example. It, do it yourself, and be the example, be the light, hold the light, because your field, my field is affecting everybody out here. And everything that I'm saying is not just words, it's encoding. It's cracking, it's turning the keys to the memory within your own DNA. So what do you see um, as far as the economics and things like that? It's um, coming down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's good in a way, yes. Because it, it has to fall before it can be rebuilt. Yeah, you gotta till the soil before you plant the seed. Yes, but I, I was wondering if we can manifest something where we can just move smoothly and easily into prosperity rather than to have a whole economic crash to where people on the planet and especially in the United States have to suffer. No, each person in the United States has got to wake up to where we are all one and it's not us against them and trying to protect what I've got against you trying to come get it. When this comes down, we've got to work together. It's we the people. <laughs> yes. One more question. Right here in the red shirt. No, that's what began it. <laughs> that was the very beginning. <laughs> heart to heart connection between two while they're making love with the intent of taking, of opening dimensional doorways and stepping through. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bill. Thanks. Did you have anything else you'd like to share? Are we done? If, if I'm dismissed, then I'm dismissed. Thank you so much. Bill